Today we're looking at pivot tables in Google Sheets. So if you have a data set like this, and you have several different things that you may want to group or categorize this data by, it may not be immediately obvious how to do this in Google Sheets. And you're trying to think what formulas you could use or how to put this together. Fortunately, Google offers a tool called Pivot Tables that allows you to do this in a couple of clicks. So here we have a couple different columns that we want to summarize data by. We have date column, region, and product. So let's start with this, and then at the end of the video, we'll look at a slightly more complicated data set and show you how to pivot that as well. So when you have your data selected anywhere on the tab, go ahead and click insert on the menu bar then click on pivot table. So you have two options, new sheet or existing sheet. So if you're working on a dashboard and you want the pivot table actually on the dashboard, you could pick existing sheet. But since we're just going to create a new pivot table, let's just do it on a new sheet. So click create, and then we're on a new sheet. Now Google offers some suggestions, and sometimes these are more helpful than others. So this may be exactly what you need, or it may be not exactly what you need. So let's just take a look at this. So we have average a price for each region. Now this isn't what we're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and go back. We're just going to delete those. We actually don't see what we want right here. So we'll build it ourselves. So first off, let's go ahead and iron out by date. So over here, Google has the column names. And then we have a couple different sections here that we can put them in. So we have rows, which is going to show up down here columns, which show up across the top, or the values, which are actually still in the table. So for rows, let's go ahead and do date. So we'll just click and drag that right in there. Now we can pick an order, ascending or descending. And then we can show totals, which is actually at the bottom. You can't see that right now. I don't want to scroll all the way down. So first off, let's get rid of this issue. So we have all the dates in here, which is not what we want. We want to group them. So if you right click, you have this pivot date group. And so Google gives you a bunch of different options of pivoting. So depending upon your data set, you can pick the appropriate one. Now we have one year's worth of data. So we could populate by day, month, quarter, or year. So we could do quarter or month probably. Let's go ahead and do month for now. Maybe we could look at quarter later. So for month, we can see this. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you have multiple years of data, if you simply select month and not year month, it's actually going to combine all the months together. So all the sales from January, regardless of the year. But since we just have one month's worth of data, we'll just select month. Now, if we want to pivot the data. We want to be able to see the data by region and by product and then see the price and profit for that. So the way we would do that is we can go ahead and drag region also into rows. And then let's go ahead and take product also into rows. Now you can see this breakdown. And now under values, so you can click add here or you can drag it in. So if you click add here, let's click price and profit. Now, what if we actually want to see how many products got sold? So we can simply add Maybe we could add customer name and Google automatically figures out you want to count. Another way you can do this is we could do another price, but you notice here it says summarize by, so we could actually pick count, drag it up here and we have the same result. And if you notice, you can simply drag these around and it changes where they show up. So we actually combine two of them there. So let's go ahead and add it back. Price there. So now we have count, sum, and sum of profit. As you can see, there's a very quick way to summarize your data. And if you look, you can quickly collapse this. And then you can see January. You can see Midwest, Mountain, Northeast, Northwest, Southeast, and Southwest totals very quickly. And if you want to iron down, you can simply click plus and you can see the totals for each product. Now, maybe we don't want to see the product. We can simply delete this and now we can see by the region. Or maybe we don't want by the region, we want by the product instead. So we can just simply switch these. Now we can see by product. 
Or here's another option you can do is we can actually take the region and put it in the columns. And now it's going to pivot out sideways. So you can see here we have Midwest, we have count sum of price and sum of profit, mountain, and so forth. Another thing to keep in mind is you can actually rename any of these. So we could go, this we could call number of sales. This we call total sales. This we could call total profit. So just like that, it makes it a little more readable, a little more understandable. All right, so let's go ahead and close this out for now. Let's look at our slightly more advanced data set. All we really added is one more. But let's go ahead and work with this again. So this will give you another chance to refresh and review what we've gone over so far. So we'll click pivot table again, new sheet again. And let's go ahead and start with our date, dragging it in a rows. Now, if we go back to this one. This data is summary, it's month end data. So we got 131, 228, and so forth. So in this one, all we have is the monthly data. Now, you may want it to show up like this, or you may want it to show up like month again. So again, you can just go over here and click month, and now it just makes it look like that instead of the actual date. So again, we can go over here, and we can pivot whichever way we want. So now you're probably getting some more ideas that you can use a combo of rows and columns to pivot your data out whichever way you want. So maybe you want to do a region here. One thing we could do, we could immediately just pull in sales, and we have a nice little neat table with month and sales by region. Or we could take product, and then we could maybe take profit down here. And if you notice, if it highlights green, which is what we did before, that's actually going to replace. But if you want both of them in there, just make sure it shows up above or below. Now we can see some of sales, some of profit. So we have a, a bunch here, though. So let's go ahead and see if we can pivot this all the way down. So let's start with date. Let's go to region next. Now let's go to store. And now to product. Now you can see we're all the way ironed out. We got month, region, store, and product. And so we can do our sales. Can you see that there? This one, we actually have number of sales already broken out. We can do cost of goods. And we could do down here at the bottom, the let us scroll. Replace that one for us. Let's do number of sales. Scroll first and throw down profit. Now we can see. We've got date, region, store, product, sum of sales, number of sales, basically. That's where it can be a little confusing. And then dollar sales, cut the goods, and profit. So you can transform this easily, as we showed you before. So all these rows here, maybe we want to take region and try throwing this under columns. And you can see now it populates. Let's go ahead and close this editor. You can see it populates out. And you can see all those sections out like that. And then you can see a grand total over here. Now to edit the pivot table, you can simply select edit down here on the lower left. And it will show this again. Now one thing they didn't really get into is these totals. So if we go to columns. We see all these totals over here on the columns. If we uncheck, it gets rid of those totals over here. So this is grand total across all regions. But if we get rid of those totals, then it doesn't show that anymore, and it only shows the totals for the regions. And the same thing applies on the rows. So if we pull this down a little bit. We've got a couple stores here. All right, so you can see we have the totals for the stores. So if we want to get rid of those, we can get rid of month, product, and 
And now we just see the totals there. And then we can pull these back in. And we have all our data like that. So you can see it only takes a few minutes to transform your data like this into something that you can actually much easier to see. Let's go ahead and pull a region back up here. Something like this, where it's very easy to see what's going on, I'll be able to drill down and come back with totals. For example, if they want to see what was the total sales in Chicago, you can quickly find that out and also pivot by the product as well. Hopefully that helps you to be able to transform the complicated data sets and gives you an idea of how to play around with this and gives you an idea of what it means with rows, columns, and the values. Now let's just do one more thing real quick here to show you how to do the filters. So if we're gonna go ahead, let's get rid of the region just for now. And let's do a filter by region. And now this is kind of the filter tool that Google has. So we can pick, let's say we just want to do Midwest. You can see now it's only showing the stores in the Midwest. We can pick Northeast. You see it adds those stores. Southeast adds those stores and so forth. So one thing to keep in mind is if you come into the pivot table, there seems to be data missing. Check for filters to make sure that there's no filters being applied. You can simply remove them like that, but some of them may have applied a filter. Maybe they did by date. And that is why you're not seeing everything. Or maybe by product, we could show just widget one and iron send down by that. So that makes it easy to pivot down to see if you just want to see your widget one sales. However, if you don't know about this, you may be seeing incorrect data. So just check for filters and then you'll know if you have data missing. All right, that will do it for us today. Hope you learned a lot and we'll see you again soon.